everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from my color screen. If you want to know how to create ridiculously good looking home screens for your Android, well then, you've come to the right place. Let us begin. Great, so this Android home screen tutorial is on a screen of the day by Toxic Thunder, which he has his home screen called Suavity. Well, yeah, I guess that's how you call it. And it looks simply amazing. It's another three page setup by him. And wow, look at those three pages. Starting off with your first page, you got everything that you need, such as your battery circle at the bottom there. It looks really cool, as well as a beautiful quote that's in the middle that changes all the time, as well as your dash clock. That's right, you can have your dash clock at the top and change it to whatever you want. Moving over to the second page or the feeds page, it's got your, your RSS reader there or your news reader bringing you all the latest, greatest news, as well as your toggles there that you can change to whatever toggles you want. And underneath, it's got the clock that looks really good, as well as a few icon shortcuts. And then finally, your last page, or your media page, you got that badass looking like album art with the media player there, you've got your media toggles, your Google search bar, and finally, you've got your few more app shortcuts and your YouTube widget, all coming together to produce a awesome, awesome looking Android home screen. Want to know how to recreate that on your Android? Well, let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so starting out, this is I'm using Nova Launcher right now as for my setup. If you're using, if you're running Gingerbread, you're welcome to use Holo Launcher or SS Launcher. And if you're not a fan of Nova Launcher, you're welcome to use Apex Launcher for this setup. But I just enjoy Nova as yeah, all the screens are pretty much done in this way. So if you're running or if you've got any apps or icons or anything on your home screen, remember to just drag them into the X at the top so you have a clear screen. So we're going to be jumping off into the Nova settings now. We're just going to hold down on the home screen, select the little wrench at the top to get into your uh, launcher actions. And from here, you're going to go into your desktop. From here, you're going to go into your desktop grid. And now I'm going to be bumping it up all the way to a 16 by 16. Now to do that, you might be wondering, well, how in the world did I get to such a high number? Well, that's because I held down the volume button. Let's see, I'm just going to, I think, disable it now I'm not too sure but if you hold down the volume button in Nova settings then a labs menu here will appear as you can see it says labs you'll go into enable big grid size options now this is quite important if you're running a Nexus 4 as the screen wasn't really designed for Nexus 4 and I had to get it kind of configured uh, accordingly so yeah if you're running Apex you're gonna struggle a bit well struggle a lot to make everything fit so I highly recommend Nova just for that labs option to get your big grid size options. Remember, volume down and this will now appear. Also now I've just disabled it. As you can see, so I'll just do it again, hold it down and now it's reappeared again. So remember desktop, desktop grid and that'll enable me to get a 16 by 16. I don't want people saying, how did I get a 16 by 16? I just showed you. So moving on margins you want to be a medium width margin just to push it in a bit looks pretty good and your height margin you also want to be a bit medium just so it also fits in very well so remember that medium for both your shadows you want to be disabled now home screens you want to select it and you want to make three home screens obviously because it's a three page setup so i'm just going to move the tick to make that one your primary so select it now and there is your three screens you're going to get back into your launcher settings now or back into your desktop grid once your home screens have been set up, you want to go into wallpaper scrolling and you want this to be on. Now, if this is because it's going to be a scrolling wallpaper with multi-picture live wallpaper. And this is the place where you come to if it's not working. You want to turn it on or off and then on again and it should be able to work. Uh, your dock, you don't need that. So if you go into it, you want it to be disabled. And for your look and feel, if you scroll down, you want to disable the notification bar. That's the one at the top. But you're welcome to use a gesture and button. Like in the video where I showed you what my home screen setup is, I use a double tap to display the things at the top. So just a little heads up or a little hint if you want to know how to do that. And that's pretty much it. Nothing too special about anything else. Gonna go back and that is your three screen setup. So we're gonna be moving on to the wallpaper. Great, so for the wallpaper, we're gonna be using multi-pitch live wallpaper. Yes, that live wallpaper that everybody loves so very much. Gonna go into your live wallpapers by holding down on the home screen and then selecting multi-picture live wallpaper. 
now you want to go into your settings and remember if you if you just started this and you've already you don't you don't have any settings or screens here you want to select the plus button over here and it's going to be adding in one by one so you're going to say two okay and then three okay until you have three screen settings like this starting off you're going to go into screen one settings and you're going to go into your picture source and then single picture you want to select that once this menu pops up you want to select your gallery or your quick pick i always like quick pick so you can go and find the picture or the the wallpaper that you have copied onto your phone now i'm going to be using the nexus 4 wallpapers that have been specifically designed for these so yeah if you're running a nexus uh, galaxy s3 then use the other wallpapers not these so the first one as you can see it goes one two three as you can see by the indicators so i'm going to be selecting the first one boom just like that going back you want to do it full screen two as well so you can be doing exactly the same method except now you're going to be obviously selecting the second wallpaper so you're going to wait for this a while to load you're going to say just once or whatever and then you want to select the second screen nice and simple now finally you just want to go back and do it to the third screen single picture wait for this to load i don't know why it takes so long but anyway you're going to be selecting your gallery and then you want to go into your third picture like that so just going to go back one thing to take note of the common settings or the ones i used my crop resize ratio i made it fit to full screen just so i could fit in a lot better so take note of that if your wallpaper is not fitting too well you can welcome to try a medium crop and show entire picture but for me fit to full screen worked very very well for this multi-picture live wallpaper so nothing really else here if you've got your reflections you want to disable those you don't want them at all and my transition type i just made it a crossfade if anyone wants to know so i'm just going to go back now you're going to go set your wallpaper and then let's go back now let's see if it worked scrolling scrolling yeah it looks good great so let's get the easy stuff out the way we're going to start with eye in the sky at the top and dash clock over here so to do both of those you're just going to hold down on the home screen select your widgets you want to go into your eye and sky and you want to select eye and sky one by one icon you want it just to be the icon so you want your symbolicons to be your icon type and your text color you want to make it a fully white color so just select it like that you want to show your current temperature so it's going to show it at the bottom and that's pretty much it you're just going to select okay See now what happened with me there right there is that my grid size was tiny tiny and because it's a one by one it might be hard to see especially if your weather hasn't updated so you kind of have to look around for a bit and then select resize as you can see it is minute so you want you just want to do this hold down on it and select resize and then drag it onto the top like that now remember you want to have your widgets overlapping as if you want to add in your dash clock now it might get a bit tricky so what we want to be doing now is adding in dash clock now I know gingerbread fans that this won't be working for you guys so an alternative would just be to make a UCCW lookalike for dash clock I know it's not the best but it's what we can do so all I've added for mine is my gmail and my calendar appointment you're welcome to add uh, missed calls like as was seen in the screenshots for this setup but unfortunately I don't have any missed calls so it wasn't going to show up so if you want to add any other extensions you just want to select add another extension and then add whatever you want and if you want to get rid of it you just swipe it away and it will disappear very very simple from here you want to select your extensions and then your appearance now as you can see my clock looks a bit different as just by swiping across you can get different types of clocks so I made it well the one that was in the screenshot was this little short and tubby one looks pretty cool as well as the bottom dates and well the bottom date also looks a little bit thicker than the rest so once that's done you just want to select the tick and oh yeah and you know so once these have been once your parents have, oh. Once your appearance has been set up, you want to select it again and then go to advanced. Now, I know you might, you don't have to, you can. Now, this is one thing to take note of. You want to deselect always center and you want to hide the settings button. So it's going to be a little bit off center the clock and your settings button will have disappeared. So once that's all been set up, you want to select the tick and boom. Also quite tiny. So you want to hold down, resize and then get it to look good. Remember, if it's not fitting too well, that could be your grid size so you're gonna to have to want to change your grid size make it look all nice and pretty just wait for your dash clock to load and there it is boom tap away and it is set up remember 
if it's not working so well here you want you have to, you want to have your widgets overlapping great once that's done we're going to start off with the, well, the widget at the bottom here which is your beautiful quotes worked out very well it's free version so also really good and you want a four by one from here you want to deselect show background as well as scroll down and you want to deselect author's name well you can have it if you want but it's not too necessary so it should just be plain white text like this remember you're welcome to change the text color at the bottom here but once that's done you just need to select back and it will load up for you but once that's done you like it the way you want it you want to click save and then click on the save button and it will make it appear for you just like that so very simple very quick and easy and little and there it is ready to go now we're going to be adding in the icon shortcuts and i'm going to be doing all of those in one go great now for the icon shortcuts uh if you're using a nexus 4 like me you're gonna to have to resort to desktop visualizer as just because it's the icons are way too small as using such a big grid size as they look like just little tiny crop blocks so it's not very pretty so you're gonna to have to resort to desktop visualizer but if not and you the widgets does all the apps just look fine on their own then you can just select apps and then just select the apps like this so say something like the calculator you would just select it and it'd be added but as you, uh, but as you can see it's very cropped and you just hold down select edit select the icon scroll all the way across you want to download the icons called glass carts i'm not too sure glass cart um i guess it's german i'm not too sure but as you can see you can choose from a whole range of different icons unfortunately not in alphabetical order so it's not one of their strong points but there are so many different icons that it actually looks really really good as pretty much any icon or any app that you're running it has an icon available so remember if you're just using say like the Galaxy S3 and the icons fit you just select one like this and then select the tick and it'll set it up nice and easy for you. However if you like me and you're running a Nexus 4 or phone that doesn't support nice fitting icons you're gonna have to use desktop visualizer. To do that you have to hold down on the home screen select your widgets and then you want to go into desktop visualizer like that now this thing i found kind of weird and it's one thing you want to really take note of is that if you select a one by one grid size for this desktop visualizer and you resize it to be bigger then the icon's going to be blurry and i know it sounds weird but it happened to me and it looks very blurry it doesn't look really good so you want to go for say any size like a two by two works really well and you can obviously just resize it from there so remember if you get blurry icons make these widgets bigger so you just need to tap away and then tap it again to bring up your editor. Now to do this is very simple. You just need to say select icon and you want to go into others. Don't go icon pack. I don't know why, but you want to go into others and then select the icon pack from here. So there is glass cart and you want to select it like that. And now what's really cool with this visualizer, it's and I think they've just done it in their updates is say now you want to add in your phone. You're going to select it like this. It already has a corresponding app for that. So you just need to select that phone and it already sets the action for you. However, if you don't want to say launch your phone, you want to launch something else, then you can obviously just select the icon like that, just select say phone and then say launch application and then choose the application accordingly. But it's pretty good with choosing what apps it opens as icons, there's so many icons like I said, so you're in the clear. So from here you want to clear the label, remember that. And then you want to touch effect, you can either have it or don't have it, doesn't bother me, but I always like going none. So from here you want to select OK. So all you have to, have to do now is just resize it a bit and get it into a good position. And what you all want to do now is just basically copy and repeat this process until all your apps have been added. So remember to go for a 2x2 two two works well and just select the icon, select the icon there, select others, select your gloss cut. I'll never get that right theme and then say choose whatever else you want so there we have all of our icons added for one two and three screens remember if your icons aren't working so well to change your grid size and see what works well for you great so that is all of our icons added so we can carry on with the rest of the widgets starting off with the one at the bottom here it's going to be our uccw widget everyone should all know what that amazing app can do so it's a really quick quick and simple one to add i'm just going to go for any size as you can always just resize it it doesn't matter because you want to select use up at the top once it's loaded 
and then you want to find the folder that you've copied this onto remember you don't have to extract it or anything it's just a user that just means that you can import it from uccw so i've done nothing to it you just want to select it and then it will import it for you quick and easy nice and simple you just want to hold down and select resize to make it look good so all you have to do now is then tap the hand it'll load it up for you and remember once you select it it'll bring up your uccw editor where you will be allowed to resize it to make it fit exactly for your phone as you can see mine's a bit low so i want to make it a bit higher so i just want to select the app select background which brings up your select object common controls at the bottom which allows you to move everything select your position and now you can move it up say once close it let's see what it looks like looks good to me so what you want to do now is then save this so to do that basically you can either now just save it if you want or if you a bit too lazy you can just go lock widgets and then turn it on as this will enable the hotspot you can set it to open up your battery widget if you want check out our uccw tutorials below on more on hotspots and what exactly they do but for now that just makes it unclickable as nothing has been assigned and you don't have to open up that annoying editor each time you bump it so that is our uccw complete as well as our first screen complete so now we're going to move on to the screen two where it is a little bit easier so starting off with the top you're going to be adding in your rss reader now minimal reader pro was used but because you have to pay for that why not just go for the my color screen app called simple rss widget because it's free and it works really well and i'm not being biased it's well it's very quick and simple to add what you have to do is deselect your news source let's make our um, fonts a bit smaller here just by selecting the font say for your news title make them go for a 12 maybe or let's go for 13 and then say your news text make that a 12 and then you can always make the news title bold by selecting one of the options here i also recommend making the news title make it a nice white so just select the color and then pump it all the way let's make the top two to the left hand side make it all f's so you want to go okay nearly done make sure images on the left is selected your show icons they wanted you want to show them obviously but you want them to be transparent or so fully transparent so you want to select icon transparency all the way to the left so you can't see it but they're still there in case you want to edit the options there i'll show you what i mean now so that's pretty much it all you want to do now is just of course add in those amazing feeds of yours so if you don't really know what you have what you want to add my the my color screen app gives you a few, a few to play around with which i think is pretty neat but if you're not you can just push the x to delete all of them and then go add rss feed from here you can add in whatever feeds you want either from a url or from predefined ones so say you want the screen of the day you just select it and then go back and then back again and it should load up for you like that and let's just resize it to make it look good so there it is remember we made the icons transparent why did it, why did we do that well what happens if you still want to edit it you're just going to select the bottom corner here that brings up your editor again so what you want to do is make your background fully transparent so just select the background there and then go all the way to the left hand side make sure that it's zero go okay so mark it zero go back and it should be blank ready for all your awesome news now beneath that you're going to be adding in your toggles so to add in your toggles you're just going to hold down on your home screen select your widgets scroll all the way to it i really enjoy this app it's called power toggles it's only one size to choose from so you're going to select your power toggles four by one now to remove toggles you just need to select them and select remove so just keep on going like that and then all you have to do from here is if you want to add a toggle you just select the nice red button by the way this new interface is mind-blowing really cool guys with that holo look it looks really fantastic so from here you can add in whatever display toggles whatever toggles you want once you've got all the buttons that you want to add you want to select button colors because you don't want to have that orange color you want it to be a nice white color like that so you can just drag it to make it white set color as well probably make it a little bit darker so it's a bit easier to distinguish same goes for the blue so you want to make that a white white color so you know that it's on like my wi-fi so that is your buttons done for your background style you don't want to have a background you just want to have your labels on so you just want to select your labels you can change your font size here which may be applicable for the coming ones so you just take note of that 
but these are all pretty good and then you want your background full remember you don't want to have a background so you want that to be transparent boom like that finally your button dividers you just want to select that you want it to be hidden so you're just going to select hidden and they disappear just like that next what you want to do is once you've got all your toggles the way you want them is you want to go options here or just you know, if you just go into your options and then you want to say create backup why did you want to do that you can call it remember whatever you want is that once you've created a backup you can use it for the same setup in the next screen and you don't have to go through all the hassle of changing each one of these as it can get quite time consuming so once you've got it the way you want it remember if you just want to restore it you can select restore backup and I'm just going to select the one that I've restored here. It's going to go boom, boom, boom. And it's restored all the ones that have been shown in the home screen. So like your battery, brightness, whatever. So that's been selected and you want to go done. It's going to set it up quite tiny for you. So I'm going to hold down, select resize and then make it up, get that label showing. And that's pretty much it. Pretty easy to set up. I'm going to move down now to the clock widget. Sorry if I'm going a bit too fast. But there are so many widgets to add it's quite a lot of widgets to add but in the end it makes it look really cool now the author used the app called clock q hasn't been used before well i haven't used it before but it was actually quite easy to set up you just want to go for a four by two so you want to hold down on it and then select it like this it's going to be looking a bit different so to edit that you just want to select it now this is just a free version but you can still make it look really good you want to select your clock font to look like the samsung one it's just this one over here so you just need to select that you want your widget opacity or your transparency i guess to make it a little like pretty much semi-transparent makes it look really good select the tick at the top and then let's scroll a bit down so you want your time color made that a white so remember you want to make it transparent and white to help it complete the theme and that's pretty much it you're welcome to add a date if you want but for the free version for now this looks really good so this will set it for you if you don't want to make it up open the editor then you can just change it in your functions so if you want to say deselect tap, tap to open function then it will not do anything or if you want to select it then it can select an application such as your clock and it'll open up your clock for you so once that's done all you have to do is go back it may take some time to go back for some reason but once it's done it looks really awesome for the theme remember to make it a bit more transparent if you want to make it look even better so almost done that is our second page done we almost there guys i'm going to scroll down to our scroll across to our last screen which is our media screen the badass looking screen so starting off at the top we're going to hold down on the home screen, select our widgets, and we want to go to our Player Pro widget. And we want to go to our Player Pro widget, and we want to select our 3x3 three three medium. So it should pop up like this for our select skin. You just want to go for the neutral, the transparency. You want it to be completely transparent, selecting OK. And that's pretty much it. You're just going to select Save now. Let's hold down on it, select Resize, and then it's going to resize it for you like that so it looks really awesome just tap to play and it works so real awesome music widget and below we're going to be adding some more widgets like this you're going to hold down the home screen select our widgets now for the search bar it's just a quick search bar like that nothing too special about it nothing to configure uh, if it's not available for your android device there's lots available on the google play store so you just need to resize it and there it is quick and simple so you're going to hold down again select your widgets and we'll be adding in our second power toggles widget over here so remember all you have to do now is go options here you're going to go restore backup now i've already created a second backup so i'm just going to select that one and it should look like your previous one if you've saved it and then all you have to do is add and replace any other toggles that you would want so because it's the media one you can add in media controls such as for your volume if you want to mute your music whatever else you want and remember with your background style you can change your labels to make them a bit smaller so say for volume to make it fit in all you have to do is select done and let's hold down select resize and it'll resize it for you like that well you have to do it i guess so that is that power notification that's your power toggles done finally it's your youtube one we're almost there you just need to hold down on the home screen select widgets scroll all the way to the bottom uh, whoops and then select your youtube just like that remember no configuration for your youtube app let's hold down select resize 
and then get it looking good for you now this is probably the, the most annoying part is that if this doesn't fit like this then you're gonna have to be changing your grid sizes just so just to get this making making it get it in the direct center and finally if nothing else works remember there's the, always the PSD that you can edit just so you can make everything that you want fit in exactly the way that you would want it so Thank you very much guys sorry it's been a bit long but there's so many elements involved in this amazing screen that what can i say it looks really good slide transition for nova almost forgot that's accordion you might need the prime for it however but that makes it looks like this so thank you very much guys for watching i hope you have enjoyed this home screen tutorial if you have any questions please don't forget to leave them in the comment section below as well as subscribe to the my color screen channel if you haven't already as well as check out our facebook google plus and twitter communities as well as our forum and blog don't worry it'll all be below in the description so thank you very much guys this is marco here from my color screen and as always don't stop customizing